Now, let's talk infrastructure for a second. I have always felt that if you wanted to have the only company that could really make money off infrastructure, you have to buy Caterpillar. Are you following those negotiations closely in Washington? You know, we are. And there seems to be bipartisan support for, uh, you know, certainly traditional infrastructure, at least uh, roads, bridges, ports, broadband and, 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 and those kinds of activities. So if, in fact, there were a, uh, a bill to come out of Washington, you know, timing are a bit. A bit Timing is a bit uncertain, but it would be a positive for us, no question. No, I happen to have the privilege of owning a Caterpillar backhoe, which is really an unbelievable great machine. And one of the reasons I know how to drive it is, frankly, because there's a lot of electronics in it. You've made it easy. You have made it so it's not something where I need to be 280 pounds and ripped, okay? I can handle this thing. But at the same time, it's got a lot of semis in it. So obviously, you have to be a little more circumspect about what's going to happen, given the chip shortage. Uh, it's very true. You know, we made a conscious decision a year ago, and we shared this with our investors, that we held a bit more inventory than we normally would within Caterpillar. Not so much in finished goods, but more in the in components to do a couple of things. One is to help mitigate the impact of any potential supply chain shortages and also just thinking about the pandemic. And that decision certainly served us very well in the first quarter. We thought it was appropriate, though, given the situation, to tell our investors that there is a bit of a risk for the rest of the year around semiconductors and some other materials as well. But our team is working very hard to minimize or even avoid any production shortfalls that might impact our ability to fully meet uh, improving customer demand. And the good story is that customer demand, customer demand is improving in the number of, of the industries that we serve. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com or give us a call at 1 800 743 CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.